Okay, Prof. Pierre, if you'd like to start, please go ahead. Yes, sure. Uh, thank you, Mr. Ahmad. Thank you, uh, Univer team, for this opportunity uh, to give this webinar. Good evening and uh, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to tonight's webinar, which in which I will be talking with my colleague, Ms. Noura al Falah, about the College of Art and Design at the Royal University for Women in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Ms. Noura, uh, okay, I'll present myself, then I'll give you the floor eventually, uh, Noura, to present yourself briefly. So I'm uh, Jean-Pierre Lasmar. I am professor of architecture, and I am the Dean of the College of Art and Design at the Royal University for Women. I've joined the university back in September, and I've been here almost for uh, nine months, almost. Uh, and basically, I am of uh, Lebanese and Italian origin. I've studied in Italy. I, get, I got my doctorate degree in architecture from Italy. And afterward, I got my PhD degree from the De Montfort University in Leicester, United Kingdom. Uh, I have been in academia since 1994, basically around 27 years now. I have uh, taught different uh, courses and I have been administrator for the last 14 years, whereas I used to be the Dean of the Faculty of Architecture, Art and Design at Notre, Univer at Notre Dame University in Lebanon. And now I'm currently here in Bahrain. I'm very glad to be with you tonight to talk to you about the College of Art and, uh, and Design at the Royal University for Women. Uh, Noura, would you like to uh, give a brief introduction of yourself after which I can start the presentation? Yes, yeah, sure, doctor. So my name is Noura Khalid Ibn Falah. I'm teaching assistant at the College of Art and Design, uh, Fashion Design Department. I joined the university in 2018 as a teaching assistant and I continued my uh, higher uh, education on Master of uh, Design Management from uh, the Royal University for Women. I got my degree uh, last uh, May. And uh, yeah. Thank you, Noura. Uh, I wish to say that eventually, if you have a question, if there is anything that you do not understand, you would like us to uh, explain it in Arabic, please do not, uh, uh, do not hesitate to interrupt us. Uh, Mr. Ahmad will inform us that you have asked a question or something on chat, so we will be glad also to answer. So don't worry if you would like to ask a question during the presentation. Otherwise, if you want, you can wait to the end. We'll be very glad to answer all your questions. Uh, what I will be talking about, I have a problem here. Yes. What I will be talking about uh, this evening is a brief introduction about RUW. Uh, then we have thought with Ms. Noura about different questions that you may be interested to ask. So we took this uh, initiative to answer these questions. So our presentation will talk about the, the college through uh, a system of questions and answers. Afterward, we will be sharing with you, Ms. Noura will be sharing with you some success stories of our alumni. Uh, some testimonials as well of our alumni, among whom Ms. Noura will be speaking a little bit more about her experience at RUW. We will introduce you very quickly to this, the life the students uh, can, uh, can have at RUW, as well as uh, a very brief introduction to our uh, facilities. Then we will open the floor for questions and answers. RUW, or the Royal University for Women, is the first private purpose-built international university in the Kingdom of Bahrain that is solely ded dedicated to the higher education of women. Basically, our students are all women, are all girls. In August 20, uh, 2006, the RUW permanent campus opened in the Rifa area to the south of uh, uh, Bahrain or of Manama. So around 20 uh, minutes, 25 minutes from Manama by car. A general question that can be asked is why to choose an all females university, especially at this time of life? Research has shown that when girls are in one environment together, 
They tend to take on full responsibilities on their own and gain leadership skills as well as independency. Independency, you will see during the presentation, is something we will focus on, especially when we're talking about job opportunities. At the College of Art and Design, we offer women the tools, the knowledge, and the skills they need to become excellent designers and contribute to bettering their societies. When we're talking about design, we're talking about design that is purposeful, that is uh, for problem solving, that looks at solving problem, and that is evidence-based. So based on evidence. In order to be able to present design that is based on evidence, we need the knowledge. To communicate the design, we need the skills and the tools. And our communication is verbal, but is essentially visual when it comes to design. According to Tim Brown, if we ask ourselves, what is design thinking? This is one definition, but if you look the internet, you Google it, you will find a lot of uh, definitions of design. But this one uh, is basically in line with what we hope uh, to reach and what we hope to teach. So Tim Brown defines design thinking as a human-centered approach, so centered around human, to innovation that draws from the designer's toolkit to integrate the needs of people, the possibilities of technology, and the requirements for business success. So looking at this definition, we have three important elements. People, we design, we, we solve problems for people, for their well-being, for their comfort. The possibilities of technology, you will, of technologies, yes, or technology, you will see we were not uh, limited to traditional technologies of communication basically drawing and drafting using tools or freehand, but we also widen our scope to introduce or to really master, not only introduce uh, int uh, intelligent technology, information technology in communication. And the requirement for business success, we are looking for successful businesses or for success successful job opportunities. What and why do we design? It's also, also a question that we have uh, heard frequently. While is it frequently misconstrued or uh, considered by people as being a simple hobby? Well, some people would say, why do you have, want to go for design? It's, you can learn it, it's a hobby. You cannot find really a job. Well, we do not agree with this. This is a misconception of what is design. The design field should be valued as any other field of study because it holds at its core significant responsibilities towards human needs. If we go back to the definition by Brown, by Tim Brown, we talked about evidence-based design, we talked about skills, but we talked a lot about knowledge. What are these resp responsibilities? Such responsibilities lie primarily in the capacity to design products and systems. So we do not only design products, we also design systems that present Aesthetic values, so we look at beauty, the aesthetic, functional solution. I said that we solve problems, so functional problems. We need to design a pen, for example. It needs to be uh, uh, ergonomically, we say, and it's a, con it's, a, it's a conceptual terminology to say, basically, that it fits the hand. It allows you to uh, draw. It allows you to write. So. We design products and system that present aesthetics, so it has to be pleasant to the eye, pleasant to the eye, functional solutions to everyday problem, crucial to satisfy people's well-being and comfort. We have to be careful here. Whenever we design, whenever there is a problem, there is a life cycle, there is a problem, you find a solution, but solution will generate a problem. You know, for example, that recycling or, uh, yeah, that recycling material may generate some pollution. So recycling is a solution to the consumption, uh, uh, yeah, production pattern. However, it can create a problem that has to be addressed through design. So this is a cycle that is very important. And accordingly, in our courses, we do our best to prepare the students to be uh, well aware 
of environmental issues or of our uh, impact, negative impacts, but also positive impacts on the environment. So solutions for everyday problems, crucial to satisfy people's well-being and comfort while preserving the environment. Now, it's, it's very important nowadays to become competitive because the market has a, a great number of designers and accordingly, there should be something that is additional and added value to, for you to become an asset and therefore competitive in the market. At the College of Art and Design, you will not only experience analog communication, as I said during the definition, but will also master digital technologies of communication as well. So, our visual communication is represented through drawings being technical or artistic. However, these drawings can be represented using your free hand, using tools, but also uh, intelligent technology or software allow you to represent these drawings through other means. We can also represent models by 3D printing, we use social media platforms in order to uh, uh, advertise what we do or also to communicate what we do. Virtual re reality, internet of things, all of these are digital technologies, not necessarily to be masters at the level of a bachelor degree. While well, you will learn software that you may already know or you will be learning uh, such as Photoshop, InDesign, uh, AutoCAD, you've heard of Revit also that is basically uh, replacing AutoCAD and BIM as well. All of these are software that are very important uh, skills you have to learn uh, in order then to become competitive also in addition to the knowledge and the other skills that you will be gaining during your courses. Through experiential learning, you will experience real life problems and devise alternative solutions through a trial and error process. What do we mean by experiential learning? Basically, you learn by working. Basically, what we try to do is to give projects from reality. So you may have a real client that is requiring a real uh, solution to a problem that is given you to you by the instructors in order to solve. This will allow you basically to read, to study, to learn, but also by working. So by implementing directly your work and learn from doing. You will enhance also your collaborative skills, entrepreneurship skills, and communication skills through our courses, as well as the capacity to work in teams or independently. Normally, and in general, when you design, you are part of a team. You may be the leader of that team, or you may be a team member. Through the courses, through the experience, you will to learn to be both your leader, and therefore you may be entrepreneur and have an independent job, or you can be at the beginnings, or, or maybe you decide to, this, to be uh, somebody who is part of a team, and therefore it's very important for you to be able to work in a team. So collaborative, collaborative skills and communication skills are very essential entrepreneurial skills and communication skills are very in, uh, important in your preparation. Now we come to discuss a little bit what are the programs that we offer at the College of Art and Design. Uh, and eventually afterwards, uh, if you have questions, you can interrupt, as I said uh, at the beginning, because then we will go into some success stories, testimonials that are uh, related to our element. Now, the three, diff the three Bachelor of Art in Design, so at, at the um, College of Art and Design, we currently have three departments, a department of design, a department of architecture, and a department of a postgraduate studies department, which includes two masters, a master's in design management, which is unique in Bahrain, and a master of fine art in drawing and painting. I believe that who is attending in general tonight is more interested into the first level, the bachelor degrees. Uh, I have placed a star on the Bachelor of Science and Architecture that used to be, or is until now, is the second department in the, uh, in the College of Art and Design. But hopefully we'll, we have uh, uh, received approval for a new bachelor, which is called, called Bachelor of Science and Architecture that will be housed under the College of Engineering. 
you can, I am an architect, as I said, and I've been in architecture since uh, I finished my studies. So if you have also questions related to architecture, you're welcome to ask. But I will focus my presentation on the bachelors of art in graphic design, interior design, and fashion design. But before this, I'd like to introduce an important diploma that we offer at uh, the College of Art and Design that is recognized, accredited by Pearson in the United Kingdom. This is a one-year program that grants you a diploma that would uh, a diploma in art, design, and media practice that will allow you, if you decide to go and study in the United Kingdom, for example, or in Europe, to go, your diploma will be recognized as a foundation year for any of the design programs. So in our case, all our students that will start at uh, RUW, the College of Art and Design, and would like to start graphic design, interior design, or fashion design, have to undergo this diploma which is a one-year diploma that prepares you for the design field. So you may ask yourself, can I go into fashion design or interior design or graphic design without having a school background in drawing? And we can tell you, yes, you will learn the knowledge. So you will learn history of art, history of design. You will learn also to drawing, basically to draw. You will learn to hold the pencil and you will learn to draw the line and all the elements that serves or helps you to communicate visually. So this is an essential program and it is recognized, as I said, by Pearson. You would be given a diploma at the end of the first year of studies. Afterwards, actually within the diploma, you have possibilities of choosing one of the uh, three different bachelors in art. You may decide through a couple of, at the beginning, you may decide to go for graphic or interior or fashion. However, the diploma will build a platform over which you will basically support all the uh, other three design programs. So the Bachelor of Art in Graphic Design is a three years program. The Bachelor of Art in Interior Design is a three years program. And the, the Bachelor of Art in Fashion Design is a three years program after completion of the diploma. Therefore, the study for the design are four years. Now note that the Bachelor in Fine Arts is our uh, flagship, we call it, or we are proud to say that it is our flagship program as it is unique in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, is there any question so far regarding the programs before we move? Uh, oh, okay. I, yeah, before we move forward. Mr. Ahmad, if you have any question that has been asked. Can I add something, Doctor? Uh, Noura? Can I add something? Yes, yes, please go ahead. Feel free. So regarding the first year, which is a foundation diploma, um, even if you have uh, registered for one of the bachelor um, and graphic interior or fashion design before starting your uh, foundation diploma, during your studies and the foundation diploma in the first year, you, you can, and you will work on three projects and the three uh, majors. So you're going to do a project in graphic, interior, and fashion within this year. Then after the completion of the foundation diploma, you can decide whether you want to change your uh, major in graphic interior or fashion. So it will be flexible for you after finishing the first year of the foundation. You can decide then to go to graphic interior or fashion. So and, as, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so a foundation, um, um, sorry, I'm going to say it in Arabic. Uh, no, uh, فالجرافيك Thank you, uh, Ms. Noura. So uh, just not to repeat, but to recapitulate very briefly what uh, Ms. Noura said, basically you can start uh, the diploma having already in mind 
uh, I want to go into graphic design, do your diploma. Within the diploma, you will do three projects that have to do with graphic design, interior design, and fashion design. So you may decide to change at the, uh, towards the end of the diploma in your, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, Ms. Noura, in your uh, comprehensive project, you may decide to change and go into another degree. So you will, into yeah, one of the other two degrees. So you will do the, your project basically uh, in that degree. Is it correct, uh, Noura? Am I precise? Yes, even if they will do their project in graphic design, for example, in semester two on foundation, but even when they are done with their foundation, they can even change their major. Okay. So uh, I'll go forward. I looked into the chat. There was only Noura who has written, so I will go forward. Yes. No, it's not uh, me. Sir. No, another Noura. Uh, sorry, it's let's see. Noura. Uh, it's Noor, sorry, Noor. Regarding the diploma, it is possible that the average in it determines which program the student will enter. Uh, I think we answered. Uh, are you fine with the answer, Noor, or would you like us to repeat anything, please? I think what you mean, like, is it like uh, there's a TBA after the diploma that will decide Sorry, I'm not hearing you well. Is I it what? she means uh, and she maybe correct me uh, is there like a minimum gpa that uh, she would need to achieve on the diploma in order to go to fashion design or interior design for example she has basically to complete the diploma so she has to be granted the diploma and there are three levels of evaluation there is a distinction there is uh, can you help me Noura? the three levels yeah distinction merit and pass so any of the three will allow her to get into the degree. Does it answer the question, Noor? Okay, if it doesn't, please don't uh, hesitate to ask it again and we'll be glad to answer, okay? So I will go forward now. Uh, another question that everybody may ask, what are my job opportunities when it comes to design? Graduate from CAD may decide to work for a private or a public entity. If you remember, I have started talking about independency or being part of an office or of a team. So if you graduate with a degree uh, in one of the three degrees we highlighted, the Bachelor of Art in Design, in Graphic Design, in Fashion or Interior, you may be able to work in a public entity, يعني بمؤسسة حكومية, or in a private sector, in the private sector, Maktab Handasi Dekhiliye, Fashion Design Fur, any kind of, uh, uh, of these uh, private uh, offices or entities. You may decide to work independently, be yourself entrepreneur. Uh, note that you may start as an independent designer with a relative little starting budget. Now, uh, there, is, there are some differences. If you are a fashion designer, uh, in principle, you may need additional instrument that you may have re really purchased during your studies, because usually you will need some, uh, some uh, tools that are necessary for you to cut, uh, to shape, uh, to sew, uh, to do many things when it comes to fashion. When it comes to graphic design in general, a good laptop, a good Macintosh with a good set of software uh, would help you to start a business. Uh, then you need your connections, you need to market yourself, so you need the, 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 the information that you will get from the courses. Graduates from uh, the College of Art and Design can pursue various careers in their respective fields of specialization. By this we mean if you are a graphic designer, a fashion designer, or an interior designer, you can do design consultancies. So basically, basically you can uh, design uh, ideas for entities being public or private or for yourself. You can decide also to implement the ideas. If you are an interior designer and you design the interior of a certain space, you can decide to design it and have somebody else to develop, but you can also do that. So you can be consultant, but you can also execute the project. As a graphic, as a fashion designer as well. As a graphic designer, we you usually do the development as well of the project. You can also be a manager in terms of design and manage your project. You can be a visual communicator or a graphic designer. You can be also a product designer. 
and similar uh, uh, job possibilities under the realm of design. Let me see if there is a question in the chat before going to the next slide. Okay, okay, thank you, Noor, for asking. I hope any, uh, everybody uh, participate later on in the questions and answer session. Now I will really, uh, I'm happy to give the floor to uh, Ms. Noura to talk about uh, her colleagues uh, and their success stories. So Noura, please let me know whenever you want me to uh, go on with the slides. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, so we have Hera Khalifa, she's a fashion designer um, and she graduated from the RAW. And she was a creative director of Masim Al Andalus, um, her mom brand, and it um, specialized in uh, Moroccan uh, jalabias. Uh, she presented the brand in Paris, London, Dubai, and different fashion shows. Um, after her graduation, she decided to launch her own brand, Nisma. It's um, a unique uh, dresses, and uh, it's a part of Masim Al Andalus. So after graduation, she had, she had her own uh, brand, Nisma. And there are some uh, pictures of her um, fashion shows, Doctor, yes. Abroad. Yeah. Out. So it was in Paris, I think, and uh, Dubai, both of these images. And we have Aisha Abdelmalik. She's a jewelry designer. She graduated from a fashion design from REW. Um, as we discussed uh, before in programs that we have, in fashion design, we, do, we don't do only fashion or clothes. We do even jewelry and accessory designs. So as Aisha Abdel Malik uh, started her own business in the age of 17, even before graduating from the REW. And after, um, after the graduation, um, she had her own business and she started to sell her jewelry and Divji in Bahrain. And there are some pictures of her work. Uh, it's important also to highlight that Aisha Jewels was the winner of the best student run company in Bahrain in 2017. And she represented the Kingdom of Bahrain in the same global competition in Frankfurt in Germany in, Germany in 2018. And as uh, Ms. Noura was saying, these are beautiful, sublime examples, awesome examples of, the, of her work. And note that uh, we have selected uh, one of our alumni uh, for each major, but we have a lot of success story, stories that we wouldn't basically, one, one, one hour webinar would not be enough to uh, introduce yeah. them to you. Yeah, and we have Sheikh Al Abbasi, she's a graphic designer, graduated from REW. Um, she participated in different uh, competition during her study and even after her study, she won um, the, first, the gold medal in graphic design technology skill at the World Skills Asia competition held in Abu Dhabi, and also second place in the national competition. So, as we discussed during your studies, you will not be only doing your studies, doing your projects and assignments. You will be able to uh, participate in different competitions, workshops, events, and even fashion shows. Actually, we are very proud to tell you that uh, this summer or just uh, a few weeks ago, a group of our students that graduated in fashion design uh, now in 21-22 uh, were invited to the West Virginia uh, University in the United States uh, in order to participate in the annual end of year show of WVU, West Virginia University. And uh, as a result of this, uh, two of our students, uh, two, two or four, uh, and we, we got four prizes. Four students were awarded first and second prize. Uh, can you, can you, do you remember the uh, title of the awards? Because they are very interesting. One was regarding innovative fabrics, right? Yes, and innovative fabrics, innovative uh, designs as well. So first and second place in innovative fabric during the, the show with the American uh, uh, peers and colleagues. And first and second prize re re related to the, uh, what was it you said? Uh, uh, innovative design. fabric, innovative design. Yes. And these are examples of the award ceremonies in Abu Dhabi. And I don't know the other one where it is uh, of uh, uh, our student. Yeah. 
And then we have Sarah Matar, she's an interior designer. She graduated from RUW and she has her own or landed her own business as interior designer. And she's well known interior designer in the UAE now. And these are some of her works, yeah. interior spaces that reflects traditional style. The one on the left, for example, you know, you see the Sharabia, the uh, multi-lobe arch. Uh, to the right, then you have something between modern and traditional and then a very modern style. So we do not really uh, concentrate our work only on traditional or on modern or on contemporary. We work around this. This is why when we speak about knowledge, working on the knowledge of the students, we speak about uh, the, the students or you will be studying history of interior design, history of fashion design, history of graphic design, because we always embed or, or, or uh, how can I say, uh, the, our platform, our evidence-based design is related also to history, history and theories of design. Now here are three testimonials of three of our graduates or of our alumni, one in graphic, one in interior, and one in fashion design. Uh, would you like, uh, Noura, you know them better than me, so if you would like to talk about them and about yourself at a certain point, I would be uh, thankful. Yeah, so Maryam Nouratan, uh, she said that studying at REW challenged me to step out of their box and help me grow as a designer. She is a graphic design, uh, She's a graphic design alumni, and the program allowed her to apply the knowledge that they, uh, she gained by developing the branding of my own business. So she has developed her own business after graduation from RUW. And also, um, she said that I had the privilege of being uh, guided by the most qualified professor throughout my years at RUW. So the, we have the second testimony. It's, That's uh, Noura. Now we can see her. <laughs> yeah, so as I said, I'm teaching assistant at the College of Art, uh, Art and Design, and I'm proud of uh, fashion design and the of REW. I graduated uh, in 2017. I joined the university in 2012, and I graduated on 2017. So in 2018, I came back. I joined as academic staff at teaching assistant. And by 2019, I joined the master degree, master of design management, and I had my degree last May. So I'm proud to be the president of the Jamaa the second time. Thank you, Zamila. Yeah, Zamila in all of them. I'd like to add two success stories that are also recent this year. Uh, our uh, students in furniture design under the inter interior design department, because as I said, we also design products, not only spaces or systems. Uh, and and uh, in interior design, were awarded, um, uh, how can I say, it? they were given awards by a company, a, pro a prominent, uh, prominent uh, interior design company here in Bahrain uh, called Elams. They came to the university, they appreciated their work, and they asked us also to send them their work to be ex exhibited in their premises uh, very soon. And one more thing, this year, the graphic design students, six of our students, mm -hmm. have applied uh, or have presented their project to an international scheme, which is not a competition, but it's an association that evaluates projects and allow you to become member. And this is a very important uh, recognition when it comes to graphic design. Uh, the association, it is called... Uh, um, uh, International Association for Typographic Designer, ISTD. And basically, we are hopeful that we will get uh, the six as members. It's not that simple, it is tough, but uh, we are hopeful. Inshallah, we will reach a good result. Yes, uh, please, uh, Ms. Noura. Okay, you know so Amal? Last, yeah, the last one is Amal Sheikh. So Amal said that I have personally seen myself transformed into a better and a decade person from my experience at REW. Can I interrupt you? Yes, sure. Uh, I'd like to highlight one, one thing. I think it's very important for you to know. Once you're done with the diploma, uh, which is the foundation year, the first year, and you get into your program, you are required, similarly to different uh, 
similar to the American system of education, you are required to do different types of uh, or groups of courses, sequences of courses. There is what we call general educational requirements or liberal art courses. There is what we call the core requirement and the major requirement. Core requirement are usually courses within the college. So you may take a course that is uh, called, uh, that is uh, taken generally by all the students of the college, or you can take a course that is major. And when you talk about major, Yanni, is that you are fashion designer, you take a fashion design course, and there is a group of major courses. The liberal art courses are very important, and they are chosen and selected and prepared and presented in order to develop the identity of the RUW student. So when uh, Amal says here that I have personally seen myself transformed into a better and educated person from my experience at RUW, this is not only because of the general courses related to the major per se, so major courses or core requirement courses. It is because also she underwent 21 credits, you know, credits is approximately an hour uh, contact with instructors, or uh, seven courses that are general requirement, liberal art courses. These could be human rights courses, uh, courses on the environment. You need, you will be asked to take three obligatory courses and then uh, four, com uh, four uh, optional courses from a large pool of courses. You may take a course in Italian, for example. So this shapes you not only as a designer, just as limited. I mean, a designer needs to be also a person of the society that is able to socialize, speak about history, speak about human rights, etc. So these are uh, developed and designed on purpose in order to shape you and to shape your experience at RUW. Thank you. Uh, sorry to interrupt also, you. Doctor, we have the design courses, which is in marketing and management that they will take even during their studies of interior graphic or fashion. So it's not only design courses, it will be oh. even uh, marketing and management. So these are the so-called core requirements that are taken by all the design students, entrepreneurial uh, skills, uh, design management skills, marketing skills, and business skills, some introductory business skills. Yeah. Do you want to continue about Amal? Yeah, so as Amal said, uh, that it has shaped her to deal with her real life experience, to challenge the world as it is, and through this wonderful journey and rich experience at REW, I'm capable of representing myself as a professional, ready to take the challenges throughout my, uh, thrown at my, uh, by my life. So we have this Amal, uh, we have the Sarah Mutar, um, and myself. Uh, it's a testimonial and our success uh, stories that focused not only on their life if they are going to work on companies or um, governmental sites, but also about how they can develop their professional and uh, to exp uh, their experience and life, and even to have their own uh, business or brand, even after graduating. So you will be able even to have your own business as graphic fashion or interior designer. So uh, another uh, way to improve your experience at the university. So life at the university goes beyond uh, the classes. So it's not about learning. It's not about only classes. Uh, we have a very important uh, uh, dorm ar arrangement at the university, which is inside the campus certainly only women, and uh, they are, I believe, at affordable prices, so you would find uh, the place to stay, the place to study and get educated, and there are a lot of other things that go in parallel, such as traveling abroad, for example. As I already said, uh, a group of our students went with one instructor, uh, depending on the number of students, we usually have a, an instructor with each 10 students in order to help, to chaperone them. So they have traveled to the United States, but I know previously, I've been here since September, as I said at the beginning, but I know from the history of the university that uh, many other travels have occurred during the, the years of the university since 2005. A lot of activities are organized by the student's office, and there is a very important student life at the university, whereas we have, there is a, a committee that represents the students that is democratically elected 
uh, during uh, each year. There is a chair of the committee or a president of the committee. There is There are members and they organize many things, among which when I arrived in September, I think in October, you correct me, all of you can correct me if I'm wrong, there was the celebration of the National Day of uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And it was really a beautiful, uh, beautifully organized uh, ceremony or celebration at the university. And we have representatives from the embassy as well. We have field trips for all majors. As I said, we do experiential learning. So in addition to giving you real life projects and problems, we also go and visit the industry. Elams or the people that gave us this award is an industry that we have visited, but we will be visiting very soon with our students to learn about materials, to, to learn about the job market. There is a very important course that all students at RUW have to take, and it's related to the major. It is called intern uh, internship. In this course, you will be really working and reporting back to the university what you have learned in the ground uh, at work. I will be answering in a bit if it's possible, if it can wait uh, to W such as, okay, we will we'll reach this point uh, in a bit. When I'm done, I'll ask, ask I'll answer this, okay? Uh, uh, so basically we organize workshops. For example, in my uh, architectural design six class last semester, I have invited two colleagues from abroad that gave lectures online. And this was in order to give other perspectives around the course I was teaching. Uh, this is done also by other colleagues. Uh, our uh, exams are also re-examined or, or our grades are verified by external reviewers so we can guarantee quality uh, when it comes to grading and fairness. We have sports events. Uh, a lot of celebrations, the, uh, the national uh, feast of Bahrain and other uh, activities. Anything that you would like to ask, Noor, uh, add Noura, something that uh, uh, I did not think of regarding uh, activities? No, you have covered them all, Doctor. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll give you the floor for the last slide if you would like to take talk about the facilities at the university. Yes, so in REW, you will have, as Dr. John Deere said, that we have the doors, and we have the REW corner that has uh, different restaurants and coffee shops that anyone will uh, be able to go to REW corner. We have the gym, a swimming pool. Uh, we have the cafeteria or the canteen inside the campus. Um, I think um, they are working on to, um, to have their own um, cafeteria now after COVID. Uh, we have labs and uh, study centers. We have the studios and labs of the uh, design or a college of art and design that you will be able even to use these labs, to use the studios to work on. Um, and classrooms, uh, football and basketball field. So, we will have different facilities uh, in RUW inside the campus or even in RUW corner for restaurants and coffee shops. Yes, as uh, Noura was saying, thank God after uh, the pandemic hopefully is uh, fading away, inshallah. Uh, we have started reopening or we, have, we are experiencing the reopening of different uh, 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 spaces, which are the cafeteria, the restaurants. Uh, the gym is be, will be hopefully also, uh, how can I say, managed by a private company. So it will be managed by professional uh, people who deal with gyms. Uh, the on-campus dorms never stopped, especially during pandemic. We had uh, students uh, from, uh, from the Kingdom of uh, Saudi Arabia or from other uh, neighbor, uh, neighboring countries staying in the dorms during the pandemic. And they were fine to stay there because of better connections, because of being able to uh, take their courses online without any, any problem. Uh, in terms of labs and study center, consider that each program has at least two studios. And when we say studio, the difference between a normal classroom you're used to at school that is made of a desk and a chair, uh, instead of a desk, you have a drawing table, you have plugs, plugs in order to plug your computers. It's a different approach to the class. 
Uh, you can work on a, a round table with the instructor. You can work as a normal class. We have a three computer workshops in the main building and we have other ones in another building. So in the main building that includes all the design classrooms that are at least six or studios. We have also three computer workshop, two for IBM and one for Macintosh. Uh, they are basically equipped with the up-to-date software whatever software that you need in graphic design uh, or in design similar to graphic design, you can have the Macintosh lab that includes all the important software, whereas the uh, other lab, IBM lab, include all the programs that are needed also by the other design programs, such as uh, AutoCAD, software I meant, uh, AutoCAD, uh, Revit, as I said, uh, 3D Max and other programs. I'm not sure you've heard of them, them but I'm almost sure that you know a lot about this uh, with respect to my, my times. So basically, I think we have covered uh, the different points that we wanted to introduce you to, and we would be very glad now and happy to answer all your questions. So if you have questions, please, uh, I don't know if you can use the voice, so you're welcome to ask a question by voice, Mr. Ahmed will correct me, or otherwise, please use the chat for all your questions. And thank you for listening. Thank you, Prof. Uh, I think uh, we can start with the question of Ali about the uh, to transfer to West Virginia University. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The question was, uh, are there certain conditions for admission to WVU such as GPA or anything else? Uh, let me have the question clear. Uh, there is no direct admission to WVU. However, we have with WVU an agreement that is called 2-2, two, uh, two two, which allows you to take two years at RUW and complete two years at WVU and have something that is called a, a double degree. Uh, this is correct, Noura. Is it accurate? Yes, correct. Uh, so regarding the GPA, basically, what I can tell you is about what is required for uh, uh, RUW, not for WVU. If you want to go directly to WVU, then uh, the question needs to be asked to them. I cannot really answer on their behalf. بتخصص تصميم الأزياء ممكن تساعد تساعد الطالبات أو تمنحهم فرصة يتواصلوا مع شركات تصميم العالمية أو مع مصممين عالمي عالميين خلال دراسة أو بعدها. نورا would you like to answer صار شيء من هالنوع قبل؟ yes um... وقت الدراسة تصميم الأزياء ما راح يكون مع مصممين عالميين لكنه راح يكون مثلا مع مصممين في البحرين وخصوصا لما نرتب حق الفاشن شوز حق أي عرض أزياء احنا نتواصل مع البراندز اللي موجودة في البحرين فمثلا البراندز الاكسسوارات براندز الشنط حتى لو كنا محتاجين أي شيء من البراندز اللي موجودة في البحرين نقدر نتواصل وياهم ويساعدونا في ترتيب الفاشن شوز بس مصممين عالميين من برا البحرين لما تتواصلون وياهم ما ما لا اذا اذا نورا اذا بتتذكري اف يو كان ريمبر وقت اللي عملنا الفاشن شو فروم باريس تو مانامة باكتوبر اوكي سو ذا ذا فرنش امباسي ان ذا كينجدوم اوف بحرين اس اس تو اورجنايز ذا فاشن شو ويزن ا ون ويك ديزاين فروم باريس تو مانامة في في هالاسبوع او during that week the, the French embassy brought to Bahrain different uh, international designers from France. We as well with them we collaborated together. We held at the university three days of event. They held two days of the event of events outside the universities. During the, the events, we had workshops, we had uh, talks, lectures. In addition, we had a fashion show that showcase the works of our students at RUW. However, they were uh, basically managed or they were helped in addition to our instructors also by two international uh, uh, persons working in the fashion, Ines Jout and who was the second, uh, Noura, I don't remember. So we cannot say that we do not have uh, interaction yeah, with yeah. international fashion designers. Yeah, we, we do can. have this with yeah. the WVU as well, but not necessarily within every course. But we also invite 
these instructors to look into our work and the work, uh, into the work of our students and to give us their feedback as external examiners. But also when we organize, or, go ahead, sorry. Yes, and even we are um, um, organizing webinars even uh, workshops, events, fashion Sorry. shows with these designers or someone from an industry as we create a fashion, uh, a Paris Fashion Week from Ta'awan with the Sephara al Francia and the Jam al in the fashion show. It was a fashion show with workshops, with different events, and what can be. كان في الوركشوبس كان في الموفي عن الفاشن ديزاينرز وكنا طالبين حتى الفاشن ديزاينرز اللوكال البحرينيين كانوا موجودين في البحرين تواصلنا مع عاشا جيلريز تواصلنا مع ميك اب ارتست تواصلنا مع مجوهرات مطر تواصلنا مع مجوهرات المحمود فكان كل وركشوبس وكانت ليكتشرز بين ذيس ديزاينرز اللي موجودين في البحرين كنا كانت مفتوحة ال ال lectures كانت مفتوحة مع أي designers موجودين في البحرين. ومش بس هيك كمان it's important to highlight إنه تلاميذنا كانوا موجودين بكل هول events especially بال fashion show ما كانوا بس موجودين as designers uh, uh, during the catwalk كانوا حتى بال backstage they were helping لأنه you know, it's very important for the fashion designer to know all the facets of uh, the, the 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 job or the business. One of these facets is organizing and managing the fashion show. It's not a simple task. And this is done through experience. So our students have experienced this firsthand, having Ines Joul and the other uh, organizers from France, helping them, assisting them, telling them how to work hatta behind the scene. Yani wara, ma wara el -kawalis. So there is a lot. Hatta for, for example, we invited also to the university, the Italian embassy invited an Italian fashion designer, I think she's a fashion designer, uh, to, uh, to the kingdom. And we hosted her for one lecture at our university. Can you tell me more about accommodation in the university, such as the cost or services, if this close to it or not? Oh, she, accommodation are inside the university. And if you have a gym, so دخول الخروج في إلو شروطه. كل it's all a women uh, dorm. أكيد it's it's controlled, but it's free at the same time. But it is within the university. بقلب الحرم تبع الجامعة. So you you need you only need to spend your uh, rent. Honestly, I do not have. ما بعرف إذا نورا knows how much it is. ما بعرف exactly at, at how much it is. I do not think it is an ex, uh, expensive uh, uh, dorm. Uh, Miss Nora, if you know, you can tell her. Single or and shared room. I think there is. There are the two. Ah, that's Miss Iman that is answering. Hello, Miss Iman. How are you? Miss Iman is the marketing director at the university. So she, she gave the. She gave the. <laughs> fine. Uh, I'm not sure you know how much it costs because the student was asking of the cost of. Uh... I think it was the finance department. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's you can you know if you can you can uh, it is, thirteen hundred for shared room. This is per semester, Miss Iman. Miss Iman, can you hear me? Yes. Ah, per year, yani basically two, two, two semester, basically, unless there is the summer, two semester, one academic year is 1,300 BD for shared room. Anyway, all of these questions may be asked also uh, whenever you contact the admission. Uh, I think a lot also can be found in our website. So I encourage you to uh, browse our website uh, uh, there is always, uh, when you open the website, there is a pop-up menu that allows you to chat with somebody from the university. So you may also ask questions directly in the website as well. And you are welcome if you are in Bahrain to visit the College of Art and Design. Also, uh, if you let us know ahead of time through the admission, uh, or through the registrar, we can also uh, take you through a visit to our facilities as well. Other questions? Mm. 
متى رح يبقى يبدا التسجيل؟ Uh, to my knowledge, we already are accepting applications. So whenever you decide to apply, you can apply. Uh, as soon as you apply, it is, as, as, uh, it is better. I think we have highlighted lately that there is the possibility of getting some, uh, uh, some, uh, a good percentage down if you are one of the early birds who register. Uh, Ms. Iman can also, for, I think she remembers better than me, uh, the details related to this announcement that you can find online. There is an announcement from IOW around this uh, point regarding uh, regarding early birds. Yes, or in, yes. And please do like our uh, Instagram. Thirty percent. 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 Thirty Other questions? Mashkurin. Shukran la ilkum. Thank you for attending, actually. We thank you. Thank you, Alia. Thank you, Noof and Noor. We hope to see you at RUW, at the College of Art and Design. Thank you very much, Prof. Uh, Diane. Thank you, Noura, uh, for your thank time you. today. And uh, we hope it was uh, very useful for the students, and I'm sure it was. Uh, and we look forward to the next webinar of Audio Interview. Thank you, and uh, have a nice evening, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Ahmad. Thank you, Asil, as well. Thank you all for attending. Again, I hope to see you at RUW at the College of Art and Design and start together a, a, a new journey of your life. Good evening, everybody. Bye bye, Noura. And bye, Ms. Iman. Thank you. Bye bye.